GIS and this video will show you uh, the importance of GIS in city gas situation industry. Uh, this uh, video is only uh, specifically to the city gas situation industry, how the GIS is implemented in city gas distribution industry. So, <coughs> moving on, uh, there are many other applications of GIS. Uh, the best use of uh, the best example of GIS is the Google Earth. Uh, the Google map uh, so wherever you want to go uh, or whatever you want uh, to know let's say you want uh, to search a restaurant so you will write the restaurant near me so it will show you only the restaurant and if you write the bar near me it will show you only the bar near you so however the Google Earth have all these data but whatever you want to know whatever you want to search it will show you only that data uh, related to that uh, to that thing so that is the use of uh, the uh, good example of GIS. Okay. Mm, uh, so as I already told you, this slide is uh, only to the city industry purpose only. But however, uh, in this this slide, you will not uh, get all the things that are covered, uh, that are uh, all the things, all the use of GIS in city industry. So moving, moving forward. Uh, PNGRB has uh, given notice uh, to the uh, CDB industry to implement uh, the GIS or uh, and to share that uh, GIS network with the other uh, utility departments uh, so that uh, they it is easy to know um, by the other department where is the gas line uh, where the gas line is placed in the city or in the other area. Uh, the notice was on 16 May 2013 and figure time was given. Uh, however, still uh, many of the CDs uh, don't use GIS uh, till date, uh, and I didn't find any of the uh, any of the video or any of the document uh, uh, regarding use of uh, C uh, CDD use of GIS and CDD. So I am uh, I thought I would ma uh, make this video. So, I'll show you the software. Open the Arc uh, Map software, Arc GIS software, and okay. Let's go to the. Uh, this is the map. Okay. Select the. Select the project that you want to open. I have opened the project usually. Open it up. And then, <coughs> so you will see uh, in this slide the nets of map is there, attribute table is there, toolbar is there, layer uh, table of content is there. Okay, so just a second. This is the this loading map. This is the uh, this is and the background is the Google Earth. The background is the Google Earth the Google Earth map and in that background I have made this uh, and this you will see the colored lines the symbols these these are things that I have made in uh, in the background map so uh, what is the use of this all those things so in the left side you will see the table of content so whatever I have uh, pasted whatever I have added in this uh, art map all those I have uh, all those things uh, are mentioned in the in this table of content part. So, uh, this is the catalog box, and in the catalog box, you will see the all the shape field that are used. So, uh, as you see, in the next slide creating a shape field so how you create this shape field so whatever you see in the, the table of content whatever you see in the table of content uh, how we have created these uh, you have created these in, uh, in the catalog box you will go to the catalog as I have uh, clicked this uh, icon and when you go to the catalog box, uh, you will open uh, the folder where you want to open uh, where you want to create the, uh, the new shape field so let's say I have created here Go to the new button, uh, new option. Right click on uh, on the 
only folder where you want to create and go to the new option uh, shape fill write down whatever you want to create let's say the line okay the type of shape fill in this shows uh, what kind of uh, what is uh, what kind of shape fill is there right like if you want to show a rectangle then you will show a polygon if you want to show a point then you will click the point if you want to show it by a line then you click by a line so let's say let's say we click line and the default coordinate we have already in uh, choose as favorite so you can easily know from that select this coordinate and click ok so you will see that uh, line shape field is created and this pipeline shape field I have already created uh, uh, previously so don't confuse with that and you will also see that same uh, shape field is uh, came in the table of content also okay so from there you can go to your properties no first of all from there you will go to the properties you can add uh, whatever you want to add in the column so let's say you want to describe uh, the line with let's say by its diameter so we write down the diameter and what kind of value it is it is in, in text form or it is an integer form you will add it uh, as an integer long integer and click ok so now now you go to the line go to the properties okay you can change the symbol as much you want you can search the symbol in this option you can change the color of the symbol you can change the width of the symbol and you can click it ok go to the categories part ok select the diameter uh, this value field will actually uh, uh, this will help you to differentiate the another kind of line so let's say you have you want to show many different lines of different different diameter so uh, when you select this diameter part with the help of uh, dim uh, the different value of diameter uh, you can differentiate the and uh, the each and the other lines okay so let's say we click the click value we go to the apply then we go to okay and then we go to the new option it we can now we start creating new line so enter the line whatever you want to uh, name it let's say we write uh, mdp line mdp line okay next next let's say the diameter is 100 finish and the new line okay, you can change the symbol the GI line, galvanized iron line, you can change the symbol to red or you can change the width, click OK, next, next, finish, OK. So uh, would you like to define another, uh, if you want to add more lines, you can click yes, you can, you can keep on, uh, keep on uh, adding uh, one or more other line, OK. So now you, I don't want to uh, make another line, so we click no. Okay. So this is the way to creating uh, how to create shape field and in that shape field how to uh, differentiate the other sub uh, uh, sub categories. Okay. So these are actually like the legends. Okay. Legends of uh, uh, of this ArcMap. Okay. So moving on. This is what I have uh, shown in this slide. The link of uh, slide will be uh, in the, there in the video itself. You can go through it. So, okay. So, how to make a map on ArcGIS? First of all, this these are the advanced thing. Initially, first of all, you will draw the boundaries. Okay. So, you can deselect the legends. You will see how these are going when I deselect all those things. Okay, everything is gone. Okay, everything is gone. And if I remove the this part also, base map also, the base map is also gone. Then I click on base map, the base map has appeared. Okay. So first of all, I have uh, drawn the boundaries. Okay. These are the boundaries. 
you can zoom inside by moving your uh, cursor zoom inside okay these are the boundaries okay what kind of boundaries are these okay so you will see this road the black road and uh, near the black road i have uh, made the boundaries with the help of black line by same by creating the, uh, the shape field or in the catalog work and then the after creating the shape field i've drawn the uh, black line I'll see the black line over there i've drawn the black line so this is uh, this is the this is the layout or the boundary where i want to uh, lay my gas pipeline okay so this is an industrial area now uh, i want to add now after that i have added the uh, the p pipeline mdp pipeline and two kinds of pipeline i have added in this uh, in this network the 125 mm pipeline the 90 mm pipeline 32 mm pipeline so let's click this legend so you will see the created part of this that i have this pipeline this pipeline i have added so you will ask me okay how i have drawn this uh, mdp pipeline so so i will show you the legend that i have made okay so we will go to the uh, into the mdp line that i have created right click right click start editing and after start editing go to the editor more editing tools no uh, editing windows create features and you will get this is my editor line okay so let's say you want to draw a line over here over here this let's want to separate this thing this thing this thing now then so like this way so this is a basic way you, you will draw your sketch okay and this it will be another mdp line okay so so by this way i have uh, drawn this whole uh, uh, this boundary network in the mdp and p line network okay uh, of 100 dfm and 90 mm 32 mm okay so i'm uh, moving on this is the network grid okay Let me close this one. So uh, now I will show you the let's say now you open the isolation wall legend. So these are the isolation wall in the uh, in the uh, MDP network. So these are the position of the isolation wall where the isolation wall are placed. Okay. Uh, three kinds of isolation wall by 125 mm isolation wall with the big symbol 90 mm with the small symbol and simple isolation wall with the uh, circle symbol okay so you will find the uh, you will get to know the position where uh, uh, all these walls are placed in the network okay so the thing is that uh, all these things what is the importance of this all these things you can visualize it uh, if these are just the numbers okay Okay, when you go to the attribute table, this is the Excel table of of these things. So this is the Excel table, of, uh, Excel uh, table of isolation ball wall. So whatever you will create in the arc map, whatever you will create, all those uh, things will be added as a attribute table. Okay, so I have uh, just let's say I have. Uh, added the 125 90 mm and uh, isolation wall so all those uh, kind of isolation wall are there in this in this attribute table now what is the use of this attribute table so in this attribute table you can add as many as column you want 
okay so let's say you can add the wall number and the serial number of the wall number wall type which kind of wall is it what is the class of the wall uh, you can differentiate and the type of wall wall use what is the use of wall okay so all those who is the manufacturer number uh, who is the manufacturer of the wall what is the manufacturer the number you can also write down if there was any problem previously faced by the wall you can also add an, another another column in that so and how to add the column uh, like like i have told you uh, go to the catalog box go to the catalog box and isolation wall sorry properties and here you can add whatever what kind uh, how add as many column you want you can add in uh, in this uh, in this table you can write down the type what kind of is it a text or is it a integer type or whatever type it is you can write down here also and uh, when you will add all those uh, things in uh, in this uh, in this column uh, that same uh, thing will compare as a attribute table so let's say what uh, we have created uh, let's say I have told you about the line so what would open this up so we have already made uh, the one okay this is uh, th we have created the single polygon this one this one so this polygon is showing in this field now if we create the another polygon let's say of uh, 90 mm okay and it will just start editing so yes start editing and let's go to the editor editor 